SDS2's new weld layout command allows you to define a weld path on a single piece of material with the option to select material to weld to. This will allow us to round the corners of our weld and it will also give us the ability to automatically chamfer material that we are welding. To perform a weld layout, I will go to the model pull down, down to weld, and select add layout. Select the material to weld, I'm going to select the center plate, right click, select OK. I'll pick my first point. I'm going to check the option to round corners with a radius of 3 inches. Select my second point, the third point, and once I'm done picking points, I'll middle click to finalize the selection of points. This brings up my add weld window. I will make sure I'm selecting a fillet weld. Select OK, and that's going to give me my change all options. Okay, now we can see that gives us a weld along the two edges that I picked with a corner of three inches. Next I will go down to my model pull down, select weld, add layout. I'm going to weld the other two corners of this plate, so I'll pick that. This time I'm going to tell SDS2 to weld it to the plate below it. Right click OK. Pick my three points along the edge. Middle click to finalize the selection of points. This time I will select a bevel groove and check the option to perform a chamfer on the material. This also allows me to specify the groove angle, the chamfer depth, and width. I'm going to have to verify the chamfer. I get my change all options. Now if I rotate around to give you a little better idea what's going on there, we can see we get a bevel groove. If I highlight the material, we can see that it was automatically chamfered along there. Let me turn the welds off to give you a little better idea. Okay. If you have any more questions about the new weld layout command, please contact your support rep at Design Data.